How did you get involved in the uh, Toyota Pro Celebrity Race? Well, uh, the invitation was put out to me, um, gosh, a couple of months ago, and uh, I had heard that this was a fantastic event to be involved with, and I thought, let me give it a go, see how it goes. Um, and uh, so I guess that process was enjoined, what, about four weeks ago or so up yeah, at about, Willow Springs? Yeah, we had, a, we had a session about a month ago, uh, which was actually out in the desert. They, they had a, a track, a, a secret track that they uh, wanted to take us to for the training. And, um, and, and we all learned how to drive. We were taught by professionals and, and uh, you know, it certainly improved my driving. I'm very familiar with Danny McKeever and his operation. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, they are the top notch. Absolutely, uh, I learned so much from those guys, and, uh, and a whole new respect too. Just you know, when you watch when you watch racing on television, uh, it, it 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 really just doesn't look that difficult. It, I mean, I mean that respectfully. It's just that the skill level doesn't doesn't come across because those professionals that you're watching are all at such a high level already that they make it look so easy. It's not until you get out onto a track and you have to find out how to go around a corner at great speed that you realize how difficult it is to do it smoothly. And then you add the element of other cars around you trying to do exactly what you're doing. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> fighting for room, everybody's, you know, and, and, and there are people that get a little overly ambitious out on the track and, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, sport of finesse, I think is really what I've, I've learned. Um, what would be the, uh, I guess, biggest thing that you learned? Would it be uh, having to do with handling acceleration, or how to enter a corner, yeah. or how to come out of a corner? Yeah. Or it's, what, it's, what part do you think is uh, the biggest area of improvement for you? The, the biggest area of improvement for me would absolutely have to be how to go into a corner and get out. Meaning, how far, how deep do you go into the corner before you break, and then where do you start looking through the corner to get out? And um, if there's one thing I've struggled with, it's 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 not going deep enough into the corner, and so I sort of come inside a little too early, and so I, I make it a little more difficult for myself on the way out. So I've been trying to learn how to to, to trust going into the corner deeper and slower so that I can come out uh, faster. Uh, that's been the hardest thing. I think the, mis the mistake is you want to dive into the corner early because you see where you've got to go and so you, you anticipate getting into it as quickly as you can because you think that the shortest route is the best. But in a way, it's kind of the longer route. It's about staying wide as long as you can into the, into the corner, getting deep and looking back over to where you're going and driving out of it to try to create the, the right line. And, I've struggled with it um, just because I've struggled to get it right just because I think it's uh, it is challenging to get it right it's, it's not easy now up until uh, getting involved with the pro celebrity race did you do any you know fast car racing before yeah um, I, I was involved in an event in in Australia many many uh, years ago where they they uh, they had they had a, a race at um, the Adelaide Grand Prix um, and I took part in that um, and then over the years, I've had the opportunity to drive some fast cars in my work. Um, I've driven some ICE cars, I've driven some rally cars, uh, I drove an Indy car once. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, so I have had the opportunity to drive all kinds of vehicles. I grew up driving f uh, at a very early age. My dad got me steering, like, basically sitting on his lap learning how to steer then he got me to steer and change gear then eventually when I was about 11 I started driving a truck uh, on the island of Antigua where I lived and then um, when we were kids we used to drive an old uh, column shifting uh, voxel that um, had no top and the only way you could keep warm driving was the, just the heat of the engine but we used to set up these cones with bull tires on frozen grass in a, in a field and we would race around these uh, cones and just to have the car drifting pretty much the whole time and uh, that was sort of like the best that was the best driving lesson that I ever had and then I did some defensive driving courses uh, in New Zealand, if you get your defensive drive, if you do your defensive driving course, you get a break on your insurance. I did it to get cheaper insurance when I was young, um, and they put you in a skid car and teach you how to to handle a car, uh, control the car when it's in a skid. So yeah, over the years I've had a real interest in driving anything. I love, I love, I always say that driving a stick is a life skill, and to me, you. you 
the only way to truly understand how to handle a car to me is by learning how to drive a stick because then you understand the weight of the car, you understand what you can do with using the engine to control the car and the weight of the car and with an automatic you don't get that feel and so my daughter who's 18 I uh, I'm gonna actually take her to race school and then and before she gets her first car I've told her she has to learn how to drive a car when it's out of control like learn what to do when a car goes into a skid so it becomes instinctive she's she's in, at a university in Boulder and so there's a lot of snow and stuff and I I just feel like it's a life skill and I'm amazed like on amazing race how many people say they know how to drive a stick and they come and burn out clutch our clutches and 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 really have absolutely no idea how to drive a stick I mean just like absolutely no concept of of what it takes to drive a car of course you never tell them that when they're traveling internationally they may have to drive on the opposite side of the road right right and occupy the opposite seat in a car yes <laughs> which again you see I jump back and forth because I go back to New Zealand all the time and I keep a car at the airport in Auckland so I have to get out of you know I, dr I drive to the airport here in LA and then I at 12 hours later I'm behind the wheel of another car with the thing is on the other so when you're going back and forth a lot you get used to it um, but I always tell people my rule is always put yourself in the middle of the road that's how you remember to stay to, st to stay on the correct side of the road make sure that your passenger is never in the middle of the road you are the person who's meant to be in the middle of the road and if you remember that then it does help and we have some terrible uh, accidents around the world where tourists will get into a vehicle driving on the opposite side of the road and they, they'll be two three miles away from the rental place and and they'll have head-on collisions because they just they completely forget where they're meant to be and so that's the one that's the way that I when I'm jet lagged and I get get into a car it's the way I remember get myself into the middle of the road and then you know. that, that's a great tip and then lastly I suspect because a lot of the backgrounds of these people, uh, in a way, given what you just explained, is a lot less exposure to the dynamics of an automobile. So, if you ask me, that makes you a bit of a ringer. <laughs> no, no, I know I'm not a ringer because I've driven with some of them. And so, uh, just because I've had a lot of experience driving a lot of different vehicles does not make me fast. Uh, I mean, most of the time I'm driving, like, you know, I was. I remember we were shooting in um, Abu Dhabi, and uh, I, I was shooting something, and there was a truck that was in the way. It was a big, it was a big truck, and, and the keys were in the in the ignition. And I, I yelled out to the driver. I yelled out to the driver, "Sir, would it be possible to move your truck because we want to set up the shot with the city and these fishing nets?" And, and he said, "The keys are in the truck. You move it." So I had the ability to be able to get in the truck, start it up, um, and and. To, to move it um, so um, that's where again I feel driving a car is uh, driving a stick sorry is a, is a life skill that anybody should have and you never know when you might be able to save a life because you can jump behind the wheel of any vehicle anywhere any place anytime but that doesn't make you fast necessarily so okay. so you got to see the track what do you think well it's a lot harder to remember the corners when there are walls than when we were out on a race course that was open because in your head you can kind of see I can in my head I can kind of picture it when it's open but with the walls it's very difficult to pick where the corners are so I can see where memorizing the course would be a big advantage in your head so you because there's a lot of stuff you can't see through so you got to know